My name is Michelle Lawless, and I am the founder of the law office of Michelle A. Lawless, LLC. My law firm practices exclusively in the area of family law. My typical client includes professionals, executives, business owners, small business owners, or their spouses who are going through or are contemplating the difficult situation of divorce. When people first come to me, they're often very confused. They're often scared. They don't really understand what's happening. And they're looking for counsel. They're looking for counsel on a couple of different levels. They're looking for legal advice, but they're also looking for just a roadmap, some sort of compass and navigation system if they haven't really gone through this before. And honestly, most people haven't gone through this before. We certainly hope they haven't gone through this before when they're seeking legal advice. Well, I think when people first come in, their first question is, where do I get my footing? Where do I start? What do I need to know? And that can be both legal and also understanding what is not involved in the legal process of divorce, because it is both legal and emotional. As a divorce attorney, when someone comes to you for the first time, you have to try to navigate that system for them and demarcate what is legal and what is emotional and get them support in both areas. Quite frankly, people need support not only just with the legal but they also need support with the emotional. When searching for a lawyer, you may have the following questions. What should I bring to a consultation with a lawyer? You really don't need to bring anything to a consultation. If you want to bring documents, you are certainly welcome to do so, but you don't need to. Generally, that first conversation with a lawyer is really about letting the lawyer get to know you and your family and your family situation, trying to understand where you are in the process. Some people um, come in, they know exactly what they wanna have done, and the consultation is focused exclusively on that. Other consultations can be a bit more informative and they can just be the lawyer educating the client about what is gonna happen in the future and giving them general legal advice. What is the role of the lawyer? That may seem like an obvious statement. The lawyer is there to give you legal advice, but the lawyer in a divorce case actually plays a lot of different roles. The lawyer is your go-to resource during the divorce process. They can provide you referrals for a lot of different professional service providers if you need one. For example, if you need an accountant, your attorney may be able to refer you to an accountant, a financial planner, an estate planning attorney. There are a lot of different aspects of divorce that people don't realize when they first walk in the door. They may have an estate plan with their family, their soon-to-be ex-spouse that is gonna to have to be completely rewritten as soon as they, their legal status changes. So your divorce attorney is someone who can not only walk you through the process, but see you through the process past the end and get you on solid footing to start that new life. Every divorce attorney gets asked, how much will this cost and how long will it take? That is the most common question any potential client asks in a consultation. I wish I could answer that question for everyone who walked in my door. It is virtually impossible to predict how long a case is going to last or how much it is going to cost until the parties settle upon the process by which they are going to get divorced. There are a few different ways each couple can navigate the divorce process. The traditional one is litigation, which involves the parties going to court and having a judge ultimately decide the outcome of the, their case. There is also the dispute resolution process, whereby the couple picks a process where they are going to engage in negotiations outside of court. Litigation is more unpredictable. You are submitting your issues to a judge and the judge is going to make determinations throughout your case and ultimately at a trial. Dispute resolution is where the parties get together with a mediator or through a collaborative process and resolve their case themselves. The dispute resolution process allows the parties to take control of their case and find creative solutions to resolving their issues. The most important decision you will make in your divorce case is the attorney you are going to hire. That relationship that you develop with your attorney needs to be strong. You need to have confidence in the attorney that they are going to have your back and be your advocate and give you strong advice. Sometimes that means telling you things that you don't want to hear, but it also means being empathetic towards you and your situation, listening to you, 
understanding what you're going through, explaining things to you that you may not understand, that you've never had to deal with before, and ultimately educating you and empowering you to get through the process in the most productive manner possible. Follow me on LinkedIn or visit my website to find more insight into finding your legal partner.